Thank you, Madam Chair. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Our 2017 annual report has been made available for your review. We hope each of you will take a moment to read it and learn more about how Louisville Central Community Centers helps build confidence among families and individuals we serve. The year 2018 represents our 70th year of service as LCCC was founded in 1948 as a settlement house under the name Market Street Neighborhood House. In honoring our 70th anniversary, we commit to keeping the promise of being a builder of opportunity for children and families as we enter in an era of economic revitalization for our beloved Russell neighborhood. At the core of LCC's mission that our board and staff and partners will review during this fall strategic planning update will remain a focus on improving health and well-being of children and families in our community. We will align our work with the national goals set forth by the Alliance for Strong Families and Communities. The Alliance is a national network of some 500 human service organizations across the country. As articulated in the Alliance report, a national imperative, joining forces to strengthen human services in America. This report, now that it's published this past February, contains five North Star initiatives, and I just want to highlight them for you. First, a commitment to outcomes. Our efforts must continue to be focused on outcomes and accountability, targeted to results and community impact rather than simply outputs and units of service delivered. Two, regulatory modernization. We must engage public policy to review and reform how it impacts the well-being and sustainability of our organization and the communities we serve. This is a timely and necessary area of concern for us, with Russell being one of the nation's targeted neighborhoods for housing and neighborhood redevelopment. Thirdly, capacity for innovation. We must continue to develop an ecosystem that has capacity for innovation through better data sharing and analysis, technological strategies, and leadership exchange. This focus positions us to continue building upon Mayor Fisher's vision for innovation. And it also helps us to realize the benefit of the investment of PNC Bank toward the ultra high speed internet capacity of our Gigabit Experience Center that you can probably dial into right now and check out. As well as the many other innovative initiatives that we're working with with other partners. Fourthly, strategic partnerships, which are always a part of our DNA. We will continue looking for opportunities for deeper partnerships and networks across the human services sector and related systems. As a Metro United Way agency, as well as an active member of the Alliance, LCCC stands ever ready to collaborate and partner toward initiatives that align with our mission. Lastly, new financial strategies. We must look to develop a more robust finance and financial risk management capabilities. For LCCC, that includes completing the Old Warner Street campus and advancing its vision of becoming a sustainable revenue generator that supports our organization's mission. The National Imperative Report focuses on the critical roles and needs for community-based organizations such as LCCC and the economic and social initiatives that we must take on to preserve and strengthen the health and well-being of individuals and families within our community. There is an executive summary available for this report if you want to check it out on the alliance.org. 
you can download it and read it. Just know that it is a framework for, for guiding our work into the future. I am so glad to see so many supporters here today. I'm sure many of you are here to support our honorees, and we are so proud to present several awards to an outstanding group of recipients. In case you may be unfamiliar with our work, I hope you come away from today's annual meeting with a better understanding of our agency's commitment to being a high impact community change agency for the good of children and families in Russell, West Louisville, and our entire city. For the past 70 years, we have worked to provide quality early child development services under the brand University Child Development, led by Pamela Johnson. I don't know if Pam is here. She can raise her hand if so. We also provide a robust array of quality out of school time services. We're STEAM focused and arts based. A program such as our Kids Art Academy, Teen Leadership Council, and the Youth Repertory Theater Troupe of Louisville, led by Erica Bledsaw. Erica's in the back and supported um, the TLC, supported by um, Yolanda Demery. We also have, an, I think, an also a robust set of adult services that support economic mobility of family leaders in our community, and that's led by Patricia Williams, who is also here today. In total, over 4,000 individuals were served through our family services under the leadership of Clinton Bennett, who is our Managing Director of Family Services. Our administrative team, Tom Gerdest, Trina Tinsley, and Deborah Grant do an outstanding job managing multiple donor relationships, keeping us fiscally solvent, and keeping our facilities functioning. I want to give a thanks to all of our staff for doing a great job. <laughs> Under the leadership of Chair Freeman, our board and its officers is strongly engaged. Also, I want to acknowledge all of our board members for being just an outstanding team of community champions and for champions of this organization. Today I'm pleased to report that progress is being made in several key areas. One, we are currently under construction with a commercial kitchen that will open a food services catering operation this summer. Uh, we're near completion of a $1.2 million capital campaign to construct a new Community Theater for West Louisville, the Grand Lyric Theater, a 350-seat community theater. We hope to see construction begin soon. We're also pleased that on March 29th, we an announced a master plan for the Muhammad Ali Boulevard Arts, Culture, and Innovation District, a 1.5-mile segment of Ali Boulevard, 5th Street to 22nd Street, known as the Boulevard. I do want to thank Sean Somerville, our project coordinator, for doing a great job of working with us and keeping us on task. Our Boulevard project team has organized a first phase development plan for the Boulevard project to the tune of $227 million. Currently, we are in, thank you, we are in negotiation. Currently, we are in negotiations with Louisville Metro Housing Authority and its master developer, McCormick Baron Salazar, to advance this plan. We also continue working with the Metro Housing Authority as a part of the Russell Torch Neighborhood Initiative to plan to transform our 19,000 square foot business plaza into an e-commerce incubator and makerspace through a $300,000 investment made by the critical community improvements component of the Russell Choice Neighborhood Initiative. Lastly, I'm also pleased to announce that under the leadership of our resource development chair, Mr. Bill Tucker, who is here, significant progress is being made with planning an inaugural fundraiser event, the Trustees of Inclusive Equity Gala, to be held here on Tuesday, June 19th. This Juneteenth gala 
will honor entities that have demonstrated significant impact toward advancing values of equity, diversity, and inclusion. We are grateful for so many friends and supporters of which many of you are in this room today. Without you, we would not be able to continue LCCC's mission of advancing self-reliance. So on behalf of our board, our staff, and our many supporters, I thank you and wish you the best, and thank you for being with us today.